Hi everyone, my name is Mary and welcome back to Quin Inc. It's been a long time since I have been back. Um, so today in this video, this is Saturday Granny, we are going to be doing the two-tone granny square. And I am going to show you this smaller two-tone granny square when I've actually been doing the bigger version of the two-tone granny square. Now before we get into the video, if you want to know what's been going on, I'll do a really quick version. So we moved, we were having a lot of trouble moving, and now we're finally into our brand new place. And as you can see, I have a brand new desk. So I'm really happy about that. The place is really nice and very beautiful. Um, it's in a great location. And on top of that, I've been working a lot and on top of that, I also got a tooth pulled. And so that is why I haven't been able to record. And if you're wondering what all these little sores are, um, these are from me working a lot. And so um, my fingers have been getting kind of beat up a little bit, but they're starting to heal. Alrighty, so without further ado, don't forget to scroll down, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that like button so I know that you're enjoying this video. So let's get into the tools. Alrighty, so the tools that you are going to need are going to be a needle with a large eye hole so you can sew in all your strings. You're going to need a H8 5.5 millimeter crochet hook or whatever crochet hook you would like to use. And you're also going to need a pair of scissors. And the yarn that we are going to be using today is going to be Yarn B soft secret blue teal and you're not going to need very much of this um, for me I needed at least about four to five balls because I am actually going to make a cardigan out of this one and then you're also going to need white yarn and this one is red heart super saver just in the color white in order to make the two tones. Now you can use whatever color that you would like so you do not have to use white and you do not have to use teal. You can use whatever color you'd like. You can use purple and black, you use pink and red, orange and blue. It's your choice. Alrighty, so let's get into how to make this. Alrighty, so in order to start this project make sure you have both of your colored yarns ready and make a slip knot for both of them. So when you change colors to your second color, um, your slip knot will be ready for both of them. So we're gonna make a slip knot for both the white and the blue teal. We're actually gonna just call it teal because that's pretty much what it is. Now you can start with either color. You can start with either teal or white. I'm gonna start with white and then I am going to move to the teal color. Put your slip knot onto your hook. Okay, and then we're going to chain four. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. So that's two, that's three, and that's four. Now you've made four chains. Go back into that very first chain that you made Grab your working yarn, pull through, and pull through. And that is a slip stitch. And now you're going to chain one, and we're gonna put three double crochets into this spacing. So yarn over, go into your circle, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. That's one double crochet. That's two. And this one will be three. Now, when making this, this is like, this is exactly a granny square, just using two different colors. Now you're gonna chain two, and you're gonna put two double crochets all into that circle. <clears throat> Excuse me. One, and two. Now, we want to connect, or we want to join this yarn, so that way we can make the other half teal. In order to do that, you're going to yarn over, go into your circle, grab your working yarn, pull up a loop, 
yarn over and only pull through two of those loops. Now you have two loops on your hook. Put your white yarn down, put your blue or your teal onto your hook and pull through both loops. Pull nice and tight. Find that yarn tail right here and what you're going to do is you're going to tie on your yarn to the white one. And I like to tie it on twice so that way it's nice and tight. Don't tie it too tight and don't tie it too loose. One and two. And there we are. We are now connected. Do not pick up your white yarn. Pick up your teal yarn. And now what we're going to do is we're going to chain two, one, two. We're going to go back into that circle. Make sure to keep your white yarn out of the way so you're not actually crocheting it into your work because we don't want to do that. And now we're going to put three double crochets into that circle. One, two, and three. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain two, one, two, and you're going to put three more back into that circle because we need four corners all together to make the granny square. And we already had the two corners in white. Last double crochet. Alrighty, so there is our four corners. We need one more corner right here in order to do that. You're just going to chain two, one and two. Find that first double crochet in white that you made from the uh, beginning of the round. Put your hook in there and you're going to make a slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And there are your four corners. It looks a little funky, but as you grow your granny square, it will look a lot like an actual granny square. Now we're going to be working on row number two. Alrighty, so in order to do row number two, you're now going to turn your work, go back into that chain two space, and you're going to make a slip stitch. Okay, then you're going to chain one, and you're going to put three double crochets all into that chain two space. One, two, and three. Okay, you're going to skip over your three double crochets from the previous round. Because as you got to remember, we have to get back to this white piece in order to do the rest of our granny square. So we want to work, we want to work our granny square all in teal, get back to the white, change to the white, and finish off the granny square. Now, I'm going to go over to the next chain two space right there. You're going to put three double crochets. And three. You're going to chain two, one and two, and you're going to put three more back into that space to make another corner. And then into this chain two space, we are now going to change to the white color. So you're going to put, skip over the three double crochets, go into the chain two, put two double crochets, one and two. And then you're going to yarn over, go into the chain two space, grab your working yarn, pull the loop, grab your working yarn and only pull through through two of those loops. So you have two loops on your hook. Grab your teal yarn and put it right behind you. Pick up your white yarn now, yarn over and pull through all two of those loops. Pull nice and tight on your teal yarn so we can have that nice and tight. Chain two go back into that chain two space right there and put three double crochets. This part can be a little bit tricky, but if you go slow, you'll be able to get it in no time flat. Okay, and there's our three double crochets. That is now making a corner. Now it looks a little funny because you do have this uh, piece of yarn right here, but if you move it out of the way, there's your chain two right there. So just ignore that. You're going to skip over your next three double crochets and go into the chain two space 
and put three double crochets. One, two, three, oops, and then you're going to chain two, one, two, and put three more double crochets all into that chain two space. Two, and three. Okay. And now we have one last corner to finish off the, to finish off row number two, and that's going to be this right here. Skip over the three double crochets from the previous round, go into that spacing, and put three double crochets all into that spacing. Two, and three. And the last step to finish off this beautiful granny square is you're going to chain two, go into that very first double crochet from the beginning of the round and make a slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And before you know it, round number two is done. And then you'll also repeat that for rows number three and four. And before you know it, you'll have something that looks like this. Now if you're wondering what, why I only did four rows, because this is going to be part of my sleeve on my two-tone granny square cardigan. Um, this piece right here has actually seven rows. Seven rows. Yep, yep, yep. You guessed, you guessed it. And this is going to be the front and back portions of the cardigan. And what I'm going to do, since I have a whole bunch of these, um, I actually made six of them. What I'm actually going to do is we're going to make it into a stripe pattern. And it is going to be, excuse me, um, it is going to be a diagonal stripe. So here, let me just put this together for you real quick. Because sometimes this pattern can be a little bit tricky to do. And so there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me, every time I record, I always have mucus. So there we go. So that is what the pattern will look like once the cardigan is all together. And as you can see, the diagonal stripe going up uh, the actual cardigan. Okay, so in order to do row number three, you're going to turn your work and you're going to go back into that chain two space right there and you're going to slip stitch. So grab your working yarn, pull up and pull through. Then you're going to chain one and you're just going to put three double crochets all into that spacing. Two and number three. Skip over your three double crochets, go into the next spacing and put three double crochets. Just like any granny square, you will grow and you will grow spacings just like we did for this one. So we're on row number three and we have a spacing right here. In the next one you'll have two spacings right there. Alrighty, you can skip over your three double crochets, go into the next chain two space and put three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then you're going to chain two, and then you're going to put three double crochets all into that spacing. One, two, and three. Okay. Skip over your three double crochets, go into the next spacing, and put three double crochets. Two. And three. Okay, now we've gotten to what I'm going to call the join spot. And in here, you're going to put two double crochets. So one and two, and then you're going to yarn over, go into that spacing, grab your working yarn and pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and only pull through two. 
drop your white yarn behind your work and then pick up your turquoise yarn yarn over and pull through all two of your loops when you put your yarn behind your work and you turn your work coming to the end of the row, you will always have it in the front. Okay. Okay, chain two, one, two, yarn over, go back into that spacing and put three double crochets. One, two, and three. And what I showed you for the white section, you're going to repeat for the turquoise section. I'll meet you right back here at the very end. Okay, so I made it back to the beginning. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three double crochets right into that spacing. Two. And three. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to slip stitch into that very first double crochet that I made from the previous row. Uh, excuse me, from the beginning. Go right under these two little bars, grab your working yarn, pull through, and pull through. And there you go, and that is row number three. You'll just repeat row number three for row number four. And as you can see, you grew two spaces right here. And then, of course, this one has four rows, and so you grew three spacings. Alrighty, if you're wondering why I am making this smaller section, this portion is going to be the actual sleeve. So I'm going to make two of these. This one's number one, this one will be number two. I'm going to connect the two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to crochet the sleeve and I'm going to make two of these larger granny squares for the top of my shoulders. And then I'm gonna connect those as well and then connect them to the cardigan. So it'll look really pretty. Um, we'll probably do that project on camera. I wanna do the first sleeve and then see how it works. Before I forget, I need to show you how to fasten off. So what you're going to do is, um, so I finished the four rows. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut my white yarn. I'm going to yarn over and pull through. And then that's how you do that. And then as for the teal, you want to make sure you have enough yarn so that way you can sew your string in. You cut it. We'll just grab the <clears throat> yarn needle and I will show you how to do this real quick. Okay, so once you have a long enough piece, you're just gonna go into your stitches like this. I'm going literally inside of the actual stitches. And I am just going to go down into these stitches right here as well. And you want to make sure that nobody can see your uh, yarn tail. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down one more to this third row right here. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in between the stitches like this. Okay, I skipped a stitch. And then I'm going to do it one more time. Try not to make it too tight or too loose just enough just like that and then I kind of fan it out like this and nobody notices you won't even notice so if you're trying to tear this apart make sure to be careful because you will forget that that is where you had uh, sewn in your yarn tail so that is how you sew in your yarn tails and that is how you fasten off if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to scroll down, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that like button so I know that you enjoyed this video. 
And until next time, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you so much for coming back and viewing this video. And until next time, bye-bye, everyone.